Welcome in, everyone. I'm your Vegas Nation host, Cassie Soto, alongside Writer's Beat writer for the Las Vegas Review Journal, Vinny Bonsignor. Vinny, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Your latest piece you wrote for VegasNation.com. You recently spoke with Raiders fullback Alec Ingold, and in so many words, he said he is fed up with all this trade Derek Carr talk. What can you tell us about that interview with him? Yeah, and and you know more than anything, it's it's the notion, uh, you know, from his perspective and some of his teammates' perspective as well, uh, is that you know Derek Carr is perpetually on his way out of town, and Derek Carr isn't capable uh, of of getting the Raiders, you know, to the playoffs and and, and beyond. And uh, you know, it seems like every time they turn around, uh, they're hearing about how their quarterback uh, is going to get replaced. And I just think it it kind of reached that point where you know Alec felt like he needed to say something and uh, needed to have his quarterbacks back. I think that will go a long way uh, in that locker room. Um, you know, what, what was expressed to me by Alec was there's absolute belief and confidence that Derek Carr is fully capable uh, of, of getting them to the playoffs. And as Alec mentioned now, mentioned, um, you know, the Raiders were, in his estimation, the Raiders were three plays away from uh, winning three games that would have made them 11 and five. Uh, and they would have been a playoff team at that point. And his question was, and what would what would have been the narrative had we made those three plays? Um, and it's a good point. And what he also said was, by no means was you know the the inability to make those three plays on Derek Carr's shoulders. It was elsewhere on the team. Not, not that anyone and he stressed this. Nobody's point, pointing fingers or blaming anybody. It just is what it is. And in in the Raiders' eyes that responsibility um, for those three losses and those three plays that weren't made weren't on Derek Carr's shoulders. Well, in saying all of that, Vinny, and, and obviously speaking with Alec Ingold, what sort of emotions could you sense from him? Obviously, Derek Carr is a guy he's gotten very close with over the last few years. When you're talking about backing up his guy, they've become friends, I assume. So when you see your friend's name get dragged in the headlines, what, just what emotion could you sense from him? Uh, frustration um, uh, in regards to what's out there, um, and sometimes what the what the what the um, you know the feeling is about Derek Carr uh, among the fan base. And one of the things I asked him is that you know part of the criticism, at least what comes across my timeline, uh, sometimes is you know that he doesn't have that killer instinct, he doesn't have that nasty side. And what Alex said to me was, what does that even mean? You know, do they want somebody that's a gunslinger that's shucking the ball all around and putting us in bad positions uh, and taking risks that he shouldn't take? Um, is that what they mean when they're saying that he doesn't have, you know, the killer instinct or, or that nasty side? And, and in his estimation, Alex's estimation, it just doesn't make any sense. He's played well enough and he played well enough, Derek Carr did. Uh, to get the Raiders into the playoffs. The, the problems are elsewhere. Final one for you here, Vinny. You obviously mentioned uh, Alex saying that this team was just three plays away from possibly being 11-5, and five, but in no way was Derek Carr responsible for that, according to Alec in his eyes. You've covered this sport for a long time, Vinny. Why is it that the quarterback takes the blame, takes the bullets for everything? They're the ones, you know, that are being questioned all the time. And for Derek Carr, back-to-back -back years now. Well, you know, it's kind of interesting. It's probably because Derek's been here for seven years and there's been one playoff appearance in those seven years. And if Derek Carr was a second or third year quarterback and put the numbers up that he put up last year, I think within Raider Nation, there would be like great hope. Oh, this is the guy to build around. He's obviously, um, you know, good. There's other areas that need to get fixed. But because it's, you know, the seventh year and only one playoff appearance and Derek hasn't been able to play in the playoffs, He's kind of the face of that, um, you know, uh, sometimes justifiably so, but for the most part, wrongly so. There's other issues on this Raiders team, specifically on defense, that he has no um, uh, part in. And uh, and that was, you know, another part of what, what Alec was talk what wanted to say and kind of get across was that, um, you know, it, within that locker room, not only is there confidence in Derek Carr, but they believe they're closer than a lot of people might suspect. And it goes back to those three plays that they didn't make that, that he felt if they made, they'd be in the playoffs and the whole narrative would be different. Great stuff as always, Vinny. Really appreciate you taking some time. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. To read Vinny's full article, head on over to VegasNation.com. That'll do it for us. We'll see you next time.